Sean, starting off at Turf and Tain on Sunday, a horse called Midnight Messenger, who was anything but disgrace finishing, not too far off Yas in his first start. Yes, he's, um, it was a fair debut and uh, we, we are expecting him to improve. Uh, he had to have a chance, uh, not a lot of confidence, but he should run well. Most incredible action on the way to the start, he really attracted a lot of eyes, even though there wasn't a lot of market support. Oh, he's, a, he's a fair mover and um, yeah, let's hope that he, he can put it together. All right, his stable companion is a son of philanthropist and that one's PJ Prince. Also a horse that probably will need the run, um, a little bit of a temperamental guy and hopefully he'll be finishing off well. Lovely, then on to the second you've got a son of right approach, rightful king, he hasn't run since the 25th of October 2016. Yeah, he's a very, very useful horse. Um, obviously, he's got his issues. Uh, we're expecting him to, to, to need this run and maybe using it as a gallop. However, it's a thousand meters. His work is good enough at home for him to surprise. Lovely. And then on to the first leg of the place accumulator, Imperial Ounce. Uh, three thirds and a sixth second run after a break. What are you expecting? I think he's, um, he's a nice type of horse. He must have a chance. Yankee captain, a cracking run behind Maximizer, who subsequently come out and won on Gold Cup Day. Um, he looks like he should be spot on. Yes, I think probably we can all just put a, a, a line through his last run. Um, Samanga does get on well with his horse and um, yeah, hopefully he can um, have a go trying to win another race before he has his vaccines. Right, all your runners so far have been owned by Chris Finico. Here's one with Gaynor Rupert. Um, not run since February, but looks to have some sort of ability in game. Funny enough, a, a filly that I, that I rate. Um, however, she's had little issues the whole way through. Not one particular issue, but just a lot of things have gone wrong along the way with her. Uh, 1400 should be too sharp, and hopefully she, she gives a positive showing uh, for the season to come. Lovely. Then on to Baobab. Um, I haven't really found too much to enthuse about. What are you expecting? Well, her last few runs have been on the poly. Um, her last run was on the grass, but over a distance, maybe a bit far, and maybe uh, used the wrong tactics going to the front. Uh, I think uh, she'll improve a lot just off the pace and obviously back to the mile. However, you know, she'll show us if she's worth persevering with or not. And then finally, uh, in the same race, you've got uh, Spring Indeed, third run after the race. She should be cherry ripe. Yes, she's a filly that's been doing very well since her break. Um, filly that's on her way to PE, but I've asked them just to hold back, and I think that we can win a race or two with her. And um, she's doing well, and, and let's hope she can win. Lovely.